Hello and welcome to stoichiometry problem number three. My name is Mike Cross and we're going to be working through a solution stoichiometry problem this time. So let's take a look at what that, um, how that would be written. So in this case, how many milliliters of a 1.5 molar barium nitrate solution are required to completely react with 18 milliliters of a 2.3 molar lithium sulfate solution? Um, so, just like always, we're going to need a balanced equation also going to need our uh, little plan of attack down here in the bottom left hand corner. This one we're going to modify a little bit. Um, so let's take a look. Um, first let's go ahead and balance our equation like always. It looks like we have um, one barium on both sides of this reaction arrow um, and then it also looks like we have one sulfate ion on each side of the arrow. So that's good. Um, but looking it looks uh, looking at this a little closer, it looks like we have two lithiums and two nitrates on uh, the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and put a two here uh, just to make sure everything balances. Now, if you'd like, you can feel free to put a one as a coefficient for all the others. Some people like to do that. It doesn't really matter. All right, so that is our um, balanced equation. The next thing is we need to go ahead and set up a, you know, a stoichiometry problem, uh, it looks like a bunch of dominoes, the way I like to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Now, this one is a little bit different than what we usually run into. Let's see why. So first off, um, we're given a lot of information in this problem, right? Um, we're given this 1.5 molar uh, barium nitrate, so we're given the concentration of that. We're also given the concentration of the lithium sulfate and then we're also told that we have 18 milliliters of that lithium sulfate solution. So where to begin? Well, um, notice that it does say how many milliliters, so I'm going to write question mark milliliters, and it specifically wants to know um, of this uh, barium nitrate solution. So barium is going to get a little scrunched here. That's okay. So my barium nitrate solution. So that's the information that I'm trying to find. Now uh, before I go any further, what I'd like to mention is that um, anytime you see capital M, remember that capital M is molarity, and that's the same thing as saying moles per liter. Right? So when something says that it's a 1.5 molar barium nitrate solution, I could go ahead and rewrite that as uh, 1.5 moles of barium nitrate is equal to one liter. Those two things mean the exact same thing, right? Um, now notice that when I write it like this, I can clearly see that that's a conversion factor, right? It has an equal sign in there. So I don't want to ever start my problem and put a conversion factor in this um, top left hand box. That's a bad idea. Those we're going to save for, for the, the middle area. So that means that I can't use this in the top left, and I can't use this in the top left. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this number right here, the 18 milliliters. That's right, 18 milliliters. Um, and I'm going to specify that that's the lithium sulfate, just to make sure that I know which um, compound I'm working with. All right, now, looking at my, uh, my plan of attack down here in the bottom left-hand corner, normally I would use grams, change that to moles, and then change that to moles of some other substance, and then change that to grams. Now, notice that in this case, though, I do not have grams. Instead, I have um, milliliters. Now, luckily, though, uh, because of this handy little um, conversion factor here of molarity being moles per liter, if I have liters, I can easily change that to moles. Once I have moles, I can plug that into my little handy dandy plan of attack down here and convert from moles to moles um, using a balanced equation, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's go ahead and um, get to liters. Now in order to do that, I'm going to do a quick conversion. I know that one thousand milliliters is equal to one liter, right? So that's important because that allows me to go ahead and cancel out my milliliters, changing it into liters. Uh, now the next step is I can use my 
um, my molarity as a, a conversion factor, right? So notice that I'm working with lithium sulfate, so I need this number up here. So I know that for every one liter of this solution that I put in, I'm going to have 2.3 moles of my lithium sulfate solution. Okay. Now, I go ahead and double check that those cancel. Looks like liters cancels liters. That's a good sign. I now have moles of lithium sulfate. And so I'm down here at this point, and I can go from moles of lithium sulfate to moles of barium nitrate um, simply by using a balanced equation domino, right? And so looking at this, I'm going to put moles of lithium sulfate in the bottom so that it will cancel. And I'm going to put moles of barium nitrate on the top half of this domino so that it will cancel. Now, looking at my um, balanced equation, looks like in front of the barium nitrate I have a 1, so I should put a 1 there. And looking at my lithium uh, nitrate, I have a 2 as my coefficient, so I need a 2 there. I can go ahead and put away my um, red pen for now. I do notice that my moles of lithium sulfate cancel out in both cases, so that's a good sign. I now have moles of barium nitrate. I don't want to end up with moles of barium nitrate, I want to end up with milliliters of barium nitrate. So let's go ahead and use my molarity of my barium nitrate, in this case 1.5 moles it's getting a little scrunched, so I'm just going to write that down here, of barium nitrate. Go there, and then it's one liter up on the top because it's always moles per liter. All right, that's a good sign because that allows me to cancel out my moles of barium nitrate. I now have liters. The problem specifically wanted um, milliliters, so I just need to convert one liter back into a thousand milliliters and that cancels that out and then milliliters cancels milliliters everything cancels so I know that I've set up everything properly so just like always I'm going to go ahead and multiply all the way across the top multiply all the way across the bottom and then divide top over bottom so uh, 18 times 1 times 2.3 times 1 times 1 times a thousand now, one shortcut I could do is I could go ahead and say, you know what, this thousand cancels out this thousand, so I could just leave those out, and that's perfectly fine as well if you want to do it that way. All right, and then I need to divide by the entire denominator, and so if I do that, then it looks like my final answer comes out to be about 13.8, um, and so 13.8 looks like I had two sig figs to start with so I'm gonna go ahead and round that to 14 and then my um, final units were of course moles of barium nitrate so or sorry milliliters <laughs> so I need to go ahead and write 14 milliliters of barium nitrate and then that is our final answer